month for silver last month when it achieved my long term prediction for close to 1800 levels and interestingly it is showing a hammer pattern at the end of this trend so is it a reversal on silver to be considered we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators we will try to find out the next trading behavior for silver and the next strategy to trade profitably for next week do not miss to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to watch till the end first we'll look into the charts followed with indicators and in the end i'll give you the trading levels and strategy for next week also those who are new to the channel let me share that i provide my daily analysis on silver and yes with the other markets and commodities including gold us crude natural gas dow jones nasdaq FTSE germany nifty bank nifty you can watch those analysis as well so now let's start the analysis on silver here see last week i told you it is giving you lower highs higher lows if you see it trading above 1900 rather in fact 1880 itself you can go long there and see we had expected a rise but uh, it is in fact close the expectation and it closed at 20 30 left a strong bullish close towards the end of the week single bullish candle now you have to be cautious in general the single bullish candle and a flat closing may bring another bullish candle there and yes there could be a resistance at 2100 now which is a good resistance and always remember 2200 is going to be the stronger resistance so this is a very strong reversal which silver has shown also as we have seen on the monthly charts now first let's have a look at this on the weekly charts you can find out the high is there at 2100 and 2200 is going to be important this is going to be the next resistance zone which i'll be looking forward for silver if it trades about 2200 definitely a strong bullish move will come again and then it will try to hit 23 2400 which is the next sideways trading zone between 2200 to 2600 which we had seen for long for silver now it is trying to again appearing to strike back into these levels but be watchful here and the next resistance zone at 2100 is definitely going to provide a stronger resistance now this is on the weekly charts also look at this after multiple red candles it is given a single bullish candle now probably once you see it trading beyond 2050 next week you can stay long there and then one can expect 2100 and see the candle size here is almost of 150 points and from here if it continues to rise one can at least expect that it may try to achieve 2100 2150 levels the next resistance zone so yes you can stay long about 2050 for sure and you can expect a good bullish move but this is on the weekly charts also now coming back to the monthly candle it has achieved the lows here it has achieved the support here and with that as support it is trying to rise this is a hammer pattern at the end of this trend hence also look at this the highs of this channel it is trying to trade in this channel the highs of this channel are again at around 2200 levels so yes this is the level which i'll be looking forward to for the month of august and yes next week in fact next week if you see it trading about 2050 you can stay long and then i look forward to 2100 as the next target 2150 as the next target and then beyond that we can see 2200 if not next week then next to next week and from there a possible retracement can be expected however look at this yes after this reversal it can give you a symmetrical candle like this for the month of august and then one can expect 2200 and a closing at around 2100 can be expected and from there next to next month we can again expect it to remain bullish so possibly this could be considered as a bullish reversal but at the same time one must not forget if it drops below 2000 levels again stay short there so it is almost closed in green but any opening below on the downside that is in fact if it you see it trading below 2010 2020 zone yes you can expect that it is going to drop again and possibly one can expect that uh, 20 2000 levels first the support level and below that it may attempt and achieve 1950 1900 and below that it is going to drop heavily again towards 1800 levels so this is one part of it now coming back to the daily chart now look at the daily charts higher lows lower highs i told you yes if you see it trading beyond 1818 18, 1900 you can stay long and see what we had achieved in fact it is achieved beyond our expectation and the next resistance zone now it is looking forward to is at 2100 so yes if you see it trading but look at the daily charts here the bulls are diminishing here the bullishness is reducing here yes it failed to give the strong bullish momentum in last trading day now does it indicate that possibly we may see a reversal is it, it is possible and the support there and the signal there is 
for you to look forward to is 2000 levels if it trades below 2000 go short for 1980 and then 19 till 1980 also it can bounce back but below 1980 we can definitely expect it to draw for 1950 1900 20 and 1900 levels so this is one level to go short and if you see it trading beyond 2050 go long for 2080 and 2100 this is also very clear 2100 very strong resistance beyond that definitely we will see it hitting 2200 in next couple of weeks so this is on the daily charts look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts after this consolidation lower high higher you can see flat top it is trying to now again resume the rally and hence probably we may see a gap up opening and we can expect that it is going to open about 2050 trade till march till towards 2080 and 2100 that could be a fast move and maybe achieving 2100 we can expect a little retracement or maybe achieving 2150 we can expect a little retracement on the downside so right now it appears bullish, bullish go long if it stays above 2050 stay long and one can expect it to rise further now this is on the charts let's have a look with the help of indicator see the resistance zone is now in between 1900 and 1950 if it breaks below 1900 then only bears will kick in else it it can reverse and bounce back till the time it trades above 1950 levels the directional movement is extremely bullish the stock stochastic is extremely overbought the MACD is extremely bullish it may start to converge from here and the RSI is overbought hence once it is overbought it may look forward to a vertical dip there possibility of a retracement on the downside can be seen as the bulls are seen to be losing the charge here look at this on the downside 1900 is the next support zone this is the 20 period moving average the resistance there from the 50 period moving average is strong at around 2040 levels hence only long entry is if you see it sustaining about 2050 then you can expect 2070 and beyond that it, uh, 2080 and then beyond that it may fly for 2100 2150 zone be watchful also it is trading outside the bollinger bands here now it is trading out the bollinger bands in, indicates that there could be a probable pullback again on the downside and then it can come back till towards 1950 levels directional movement has crossed over this is a bullish crossover on the daily charts after long time on silver we are looking at this crossover so yes you have to stay alert also look at the stochastic they are extremely overbought hence from here probable drop can be expected the MACD is also extremely wide divergent and extremely bullish you have to be cautious from here it, it may start to converge RSI is near to top here considering probably we can see a little retracement on the downside look at the daily charts it was trading at the bottom i told you last week also on the weekly charts now looking upwards the next resistance zone is at 2200 to 2300 very strong resistance lies there and if you look at the directional movement it is bull, bull, bearish till now it was bearish till now looking forward to conversion here the stochastic on the weekly charts was oversold now looking upwards and if you look at the macd this is wide divergent and it is starting to converge here so it was bearish till now it is starting to converge rsi was oversold and with one single green candle it has again come back to comfortable zones and if you look at the monthly charts it was trading outside the bollinger bands and see that is why we have got the stronger pull back on the upside and hence next for next month also the width of the bollinger bands might be increasing and the resistance there at 2200 is very very strong 2200 2250 zone you have to be cautious in between these levels if it continues to rise next month the directional movement on the monthly charts is still bearish remember it is still widening and it is crossed over after long so after almost two years it is crossed over and hence it can continue to trade in bearish zone next month also uh, but it is oversold on the stochastic hence a bounce back can be expected the macd is also wide divergent and extremely bearish the next candle may try to pull it back again or converge again from the next month onwards since you have to be cautious there rsi is moderate and it is looking downwards now considering this let me give you the trading levels for next first let's talk about the levels to go long yes if, if you see it trading beyond 2050 stay long and then the next target and yes before i give you the trading strategy and levels for next week yes if you want to learn the art of reading the market if you want to learn the art of trading profitably you can join my mentorship batch the 13th batch is starting on 8th of august 15 days is the duration of this batch 90 minutes daily lot much of practice and yes a lifetime technical support is what you get by being the part of this batch so 
Yes, reach out to me for more details on it. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my free Telegram group. So don't miss this opportunity. Also, you can be part of my VIP signals group. Reach out to me for more details on it. So yes, if you see next week, if you see trading about 2050, go long for 2067, the next resistance. See, uh, 2067 must provide it a little resistance and it can retrace from here so be cautious then the next target is directly 2100 sustaining about 2100 the next target is 2118 and then 2150 levels yes this is going to be the next strong resistance zone at 2150 may achieve this but yes look at uh, the indicators on the four hour charts and the daily charts it appears it may get a pullback first on the downside it can drop till towards 1980-1950 but then you have to be cautious again for 2050. So a probable trading zone if you only short entry first let's talk about the short entry also. If you see it trading below this zone at 2020 go short there expect 20, 2000 levels to provide a support below that it will going to hit 1980 and then 1950 levels. See. Till 1950 and 2150, uh, there are going to be the resistances. Rather, I will say 2100 to 1950, this is going to be the larger trading zone. And beyond 1950, if it trades, I will see directly hitting 1920 and 1900, the next support zone. Below that, it is going to remain bearish for the rest of the month. And we can expect July again to be a bearish month for silver, where one can expect that it is going to drop till towards 1850, 1840, and 1800 levels. So, yes. Uh, one can be cautious till 1950 levels it can bounce back again a larger trading zone between 2100 to 1950 can be taken and then it can give you a doji so it is almost at the pivot it will come back to so first it may start with the drop for next couple of days you can see a drop and then it can bounce back again this is very much possible however be cautious as the indicators are overbought a retracement on the downside is going to be sharp and then the rise is going to be equally sharp take your positions accordingly trade accordingly trade profitably trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss and yes do not miss to like share subscribe and comment do not miss to press the bell icon thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you